Hello, Douglas County. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. Welcome to our fifth DCTV 23 weekly update on COVID-19, the coronavirus. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of May 6th at 1.05 p.m., Douglas County has 354 confirmed cases. And sadly, 11 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman and the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families. The state of Georgia has a new COVID-19 hotline. If you believe you are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 or have been exposed to the virus, please contact your primary care doctor, an urgent care clinic, or your local health care center. Please do not show up unannounced at the emergency room or health care facility. The number for the COVID-19 hotline is 844-422-2681. Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested 777 people so far at our testing site at Hunter Park, and that is as, as of May 5th. Anyone showing symptoms can be tested. These symptoms include fever, cough, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing. In addition, chills, repeated shaking with chills, muscle pain, headache, sore throat, and new loss of taste or smell. Visit CDPH COVID-19 testing.org to complete the online testing referral the individual will be screened it will be determined if a test is needed and then they will be scheduled for an appointment the hours of operation for the hunter park testing site are monday through friday 8 30 a.m to 5 p.m and on saturday as well from 9 a.m to 12 noon please note testing is by appointment only individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from cobb and douglas public health will not be tested, unfortunately. Speaking of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, they wanted to provide businesses with simple guidelines that as they decide to open their businesses to support public health of the community. These guidelines recommend the visitor of that building should stop and check to see if they are wearing a face covering or if they are showing any signs of COVID-19, such as having a fever, cough, or shortness of breath. If you have any of these symptoms, do not enter that business and get tested for COVID-19. As Rick previously mentioned, free testing is available to you. Visit Cobb and DouglasPublicHealth.org for more information. As a reminder, Douglas County Commission Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, has opened all walking trails and disc golf courses as of last Friday, May 1st at 12 noon. These walking trails include Clinton Park, Derelict Park, Dog River Park, Fair Play Park, and Boundary Waters Park. The Woodrow Wilson Park walking track has also been reopened. Disc call courses at Dog River Park, Boundary Waters Park, and Derelict Park are open as well. All other parks and recreation facilities will remain closed to the public at this point. All users of the walking trails and disc golf courses are expected to practice social distancing at all times. This past Tuesday, the Board of Commission conducted their regular meeting virtually and discussed a number of updates and issues throughout the agenda. To stay on top of everything going on within the Douglas County government, watch the previously streamed meeting on Douglas County Happenings or DCTV23's Facebook page. Tonight, Commissioner Terenia Carthens hosting her District 3 community chat with special guests at 6.30. You're invited to join the virtual meeting being held on Facebook Live via Zoom. District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson is hosting a Douglas County Mental Health Virtual Forum on May 14th at 6 p.m. via Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. The forum will consist of several local experts, officials, and a behavioral health documentary. Also, remember to join District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen and First Baptist Church Douglasville in partnership with the Atlanta Food Bank, as they partner to host a second drive through community food giveaway to families impacted by COVID-19 on May 16th at 11 a.m. The first 100 cars will receive food. As a reminder, Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to encourage Douglas County citizens to wear a face covering while being outside and around others 
wash hands consistently, and practice social distancing. Douglas County, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.